What is the story of El Coco? El Coco, also known as the Kukui, Kuko, Kuka, or Cuckoo, is a mythical ghost monster known in many Latin American countries. It is often seen as the equivalent to the Boogeyman, and the legend has no specific time nor specific place of origin. El Coco goes beyond the furthest reaches of our imaginations, and parents commonly use the legend of El Coco to discourage the children from misbehaving. They will sing lullabies warning children that if they misbehave, El Coco will come and eat them. Coco is known as a child eater and a kidnapper. It may instantly devour the child, leaving nothing left behind, or it may lure the child away without notice to a place that would never return. However, Coco only punishes disobedient children. It searches from the rooftops for children misbehaving. Coco represents the opposite of the guardian angel and is frequently compared to the devil. The oldest known rhyme about Coco, originated in the 17th century by Quan Caxis, goes like, Sleep child, sleep now, else Coco comes and will eat you. A Portuguese lullaby recorded by Jose Leachi de Vasconcelos. Leave Coca, leave Coca, go to the top of the roof, let the child have a quiet sleep. The traditional Brazilian lullaby goes like, Sleep little baby, that Kuka comes to get you. Daddy went to the farm, mommy went to work. And both Brazilians and Portuguese have a boogeyman version. Boogeyman atop the roof, let my child have a quiet sleep. There is both a male and a female variation of the legend. The Kukui is the male variation, and La Kuka is a female version. The two beings were extension of the same monster who share the same motives and actions. There is no consistent description of its appearance. It is stated to be a shape-shifting being that is frightening to look at, similar to your mother. It is described as a shapeless figure, sometimes a hairy monster. A painting by Francisco de Goya titled KVN El Coco, or The Boogeyman is Coming, shows it as a cloaked figure. El Coco does not only take one physical form. For the Portuguese, it is a dragon that fights with St. George during the Corpus Christi celebration on Holy Thursdays. If the horse St. George is riding is frightened by the creature, this means it will be a bad year for crops. If the horse does not react, St. George then cuts off Coco's tongue in an ear, ensuring the crops will be good for another year. In northern Spain, Asturias, Coco takes the form of a giant with eyes like fire, a mouth like a spit, huge stomach, very hairy, and as black as blight. In Catalonia, Cuco is first documented in 1457. She is a zoomorphic figure that looks like a tortoise with a horned spine, dragon claws, and a dragon head. Legends say that every night she has to dine on three cats and three children. In Brazil, Coco appears as a humanoid female alligator called Cuca. She is dressed like a woman with ugly hair and carries a sack on her back. In many Latin American countries, such as Argentina, Puerto Rico, or Bolivia, it is called Cuco. In Bulgaria, it is better known as the fearsome Torblon. And in the Nordic countries of Norway and Denmark, it is the Busamen. In Portugal, Spain, and Mexico, it is known as Coco. In another interpretation of the myth, Coco is known by bloody bones, whose origins were in the United Kingdom and United States in the 17th century. It is said that this creature lives near a pond, waiting on top of a pile of bones that belongs to children who told lies or bad words. Another iteration of Coco is the well-known Boogeyman. A version believed to come from Scotland says that the Boogeyman waits behind children's beds, lying in wait for his prey. Despite the many names it goes by, its motives remain the same. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, check out one of my previous videos about some other urban legends and leave some suggestions which you'd like me to do in the future. And please consider subscribing. Uh, thank you.